Hello and thank you for coming to check out this video. It's been a while since I've actually uploaded any videos, but it's for good reason. I've just been pretty busy with really good projects. And with that being said, I'm going to have to be able to remotely control my phones from time to time. And I'm going to do a video here showing how we can remotely control our phones without any third party application. It's going to be built into the phone. So here we can see that I have two different phones, one with directory number 1000 and the other with directory number 1001. 1000 has an IP address ending in 100. 1001 has an IP address ending in 101. What you need to be able to do is SSH into the phone. So if you don't have SSH enabled and if you haven't set the uh, secure shell username and password, you're not going to be able to log into these phones. The reason why we need to be able to do that is because we are going to do our remote phone control through the CLI of the phone. And um, there's a number of different ways that we can verify what's going on. There's show commands that we can do in the CLI. We can also bring up a phone screenshot to take a look at what's going on on the screen of the phone. I did. I showed how to do that in a different video, which I'll put a link to that video up top. And um, you know, what I'm, what I'm going to do is I have my phones here with me, so I'm just going to bring them up in a different video feed here at the bottom of the screen. And what I'm going to do is from phone with DN1000, I'm going to call DN1001. And the way to do that is dial DN and then whatever number it is that you want to call. So 1001 is now ringing. I have to go over to 1001 and in order to answer it, I can do phone hook switch off hook. And now the call is answered. I could do that same command now to end the call and I can do this either on 1001 or I can end it on 1000. But the command will be phone hook switch on hook. So that's how we can do uh, test calls remotely without having to uh, bother our end users. Or maybe even if we're doing it after hours and there's no end users around, this is one way we can do it. Now, what if we wanted to do something a little different, like not just make or receive a phone call? We want to go into the settings menu um, or just press any button on the phone. Well, I have this different layout here, which Took me a pretty good amount of time to put this together and figure out what these different enum values are for. And uh, this is actually for an 8851 that we're looking at here. So the enum values might be different elsewhere, but I, I think it should be the same across most phones that are uh, 8800 or 7800 or even 8900. But for the phone at number 1000, Let's say we want to hit the settings menu. What we would do is type in the command phone key and then whatever enum value we want to press. And I wanted to hit the settings, which is the gear icon. So I'll hit 551. Now on the phone screen, we should see the application screen or settings. Um, I think actually the settings is a, a an application within the application screen. So. I'm hitting the button with the gear icon, which gets us to the application screen on the phone. Now that I'm in the application screen, let's say I want to go into extension mobility, I could hit phone key and then the enum value for eight, which is 521. I'm going to put in my user ID, which is going to be user one, so that means I'm going to have to hit eight twice, seven four times, three twice, and then seven three times. And then I have to hit the number one, which I believe means I have to hit that button 10 times. Let's go ahead and take a look. Seven is 520 flat, so just phone key 520 and I have to hit that four times 
Now I have to hit three twice, which is going to be 516. And then I have to hit seven three more times. And then to get one for user one, I will have to hit the key one, I believe four times. So we'll hit it one, two, three, four. And as you can see, I've got user one put in there. And um, let's go back to talking about the uh, commands that we can use to see where we are on the phone screen. What we can use is the command uh, show UI window all. And we can see that we are on the application screen. And it lets us know that we're in an application, but we're not in the app main menu. So let's go ahead and exit and go back to the main menu by hitting 526. And that got us to exit out to the main application menu. And now here where it says app menu root, it says true. If we were to exit again, and then do show UI window all, you can see that the call UI is set to true. Now this would take a little bit more research and testing to see uh, what these different values are for the different pages that you're on. But something that is definitely important to know is how to tell which soft key, what, which soft keys are available. So the command to do that is show UI soft key all. Looks like I pasted in twice. So it's show UI soft key all. And these are the different soft keys that we have available to us. If there were more, we would actually see that button there. And what we could do to know which soft keys are actually displayed on the screen is this command here, show UI soft key displayed. And that would let us see of the multiple soft keys that we have, which ones are actually on the screen at the moment, allowing us to uh, make sure that we're selecting the right soft key. But I think that for most people, they're really not going to want to use this for all the, the uh, bells and whistles that we can use it for. Probably people are just going to want to use it for uh, checking the audio path. And here we can see that there's no active phone calls. We could also use the command show call. And from here, we can select all different types of um, information. We can check call history as well. Now, going back to that show call command, you'd have to do show call summary line and then, you know, line one or two. Show call summary active, show call summary all. Um, we can even see what applications there are available in the application page by doing the command show applications. I like this command here, show call stream summary. I don't know if it'll have anything while well, I'm not active. It shows that it was uh, bi-directional, right? The status is NR, which means not ready. So we're not actually on a call. If I had an active call, it would say ready. Now this command is great because we can see what our local IP address and port is. We can see what our remote IP address and port is, which that's going to be our phone with directory number 1001. We already know that because we saw the IP address. We get to see how many packets we sent, how many packets we received. That could be helpful if you're trying to troubleshoot a uh, audio quality issue and you have a packet capture running. You could be in the phone right now just running this command over and over again. We also get to see what uh, codec we're transmitting and what codec we're receiving. So that's all really good information there. There's another command, but it's a little bit verbose in output. It's the show stream active all. There's no active streams right now, so we didn't get anything, but that would show us, you know, video, audio, any open streams. I really like the show stream summary better. If you need to go in and just place a test call to get phone console logs or to get call manager traces or to test a call to voicemail to make sure it works, some of the uh, validating that you'd have to do 
is going to be through um, traces but if you just wanted to make sure that a phone is able to connect able to transmit packets able to receive packets make sure that it's on the right codec I think this is a perfect means for doing that and you know I'm going to end up using it when I want to record videos in my home lab but I'm just not at my home at the time. I hope there was something of value in this video for you and I'll see you in the next one.